Good morning, Jack Travels JT fam. Today we are in the beautiful city of Cincinnati. Cincinnati is the third largest city in Ohio and also the 64th largest city in the United States. It has a population of 2.1 million and today we are going on a food tour all over the city doing multiple of activities. Let's just get right into it guys. Let's go. Up today is at Finley Market. Finley Market it's kind of like a farmer's market. It has a lot of different shops, different stores, restaurants, bars as well. So one of the things that Cincinnati is really well known for in the city is known for art. All over the Finley Market there are murals and art pieces for you to look at and also they're famous for sports team, the Bengals, the Reds, also for their food. They have three main foods you need to try when you come to Cincinnati. First one is the Cincinnati Chili. The second one is the Buckeye, a beautiful dessert. And third is the Goeta. So we got dessert. If you come to Cincinnati, you have to try the Buckeye. We also got a macaroon. This is the Buckeye? Yep. Peanut butter and it's dipped in chocolate. Very good. In the middle is a huge chunk of peanut butter. It's also yeah, dipped in chocolate. It's very sweet as well. The peanut butter is creamy peanut butter, not crunchy. It melts right in your mouth. Let's try the macaroon. Caramel macaroon. And it looks like it has maybe like a vanilla filling in it. But it's got this pretty gold paint on it. So this one's not too sweet. The texture is perfect. Filling is definitely vanilla. Um, it's just very well balanced. I just love the texture. <laughs> Anything else for you? Sorry, from nearby. Um, we're in northern Kentucky, about 25 minutes away. Cool. I got grape tomatoes. You can see. My favorite snack is fresh grape tomatoes. I love them. So let's see. Let's see. Holy crap! It's so good. <laughs> You are in Finley, and we just celebrated our 170th birthday last weekend. So this is the longest market that has ever been around. That place right on the corner called Lucan's has been here from the very start, which is super impressive because nobody here is 170 years old. Do you want a soap? This is rose and sandalwood. I love a citrus, so I'm gonna get it. Uh, we went to Earthganics, so we got this um, organic soap. It's 84% organic. There's no artificial dyes. It has um, different essential oils and like coconut oil, things like that. This is my favorite scent. It smells so good, I bought two. <laughs> Watermelon or the matcha? The matcha mango. The matcha mango. Yes. Artisan popsicle. It's from Artisan Honey Child. This is what it came in. They actually have a shop just down the street. We got matcha mango, I believe. It has, um, it's more creamy. It has almond milk in it. But they had a ton of great looking flavors. It's about how big it is. Not too, too big like a normal popsicle, but it looks like a good size. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yeah.
after the Finlay Market, we came to the Geta Fest. Geta Fest has been a tradition of Cincinnati. If you're here in Cincinnati in late July to early August, you have to check the Geta Fest out. There's live music, a lot of games, a lot of food. So Geta is actually a kind of like a sausage patty from Germany. Very famous in Cincinnati as well. What do we get? It's a Geta chili burrito. So it's kind yeah. of like a burrito with gata in there. You can see the chili, the cheese, and it's deep fried. So mm -hmm. take a look at that. And we're gonna try it out. I thought it was really good. It's an interesting oh. blend of flavors. Um, it's cool because I guess it would satisfy anybody's craving yeah. um, because it has the getta with like the hot dog kind of style, like a coney dog. So it has the chili, the cheese, mm -hmm. um, and it's like in its own burrito and it's yeah. deep fried and it's got the sour cream on there. Yeah, you can taste the chili, you can taste the cheese. Mm -hmm. When you bite down, it's like a crunch because it is deep fried. The Geta kind of tastes like the worst in Germany. If you're ever in Cincinnati, you have to try Geta. And next, we're going to be heading over to the Krone Conservatory where we will see the botanical gardens and look at the butterflies. Yee. Yeah. Um, we're at the botanical garden now so basically what that is it's like a giant greenhouse they also have an outdoor garden and it's nice because we're kind of taking a romantic stroll through here Guys, so being in the botanical garden actually reminded me of my childhood. My grandparents would take me hiking as well. We would go there with my cousins and second cousins everywhere. And we would go to these spots where there would be um, waterfalls. So we would just go up the waterfall and slide down, jump down. So this is kind of giving me that same vibe and same atmosphere. What are you doing here? Coloring. Coloring. I love coloring. So they have, if you come to the botanical gardens, they have a whole table here where you can color anything you want for little kids, very family friendly, kid friendly as well. <laughs> After the observatory, we came here to the city center of Cincinnati and we are at the Smail Riverfront Park. It is at the intersection of the Blue Bridge, which is over there, and also the Paul Brown Stadium of the Bengals football team, as well as the Reds baseball stadium. Walking, we actually saw this. It's like train track picnic tables. So that's awesome that you can just move this and if you have a big family, you can push this together to create a bigger picnic table. Um, so we're at the park at the Esplanade. Um, so basically it's like kind of like a boardwalk type thing and you can go all the way down. Mm -hmm. And it's right on the river, so if you want to have a nice, like, romantic stroll, um, just kind of soak up the sun, or ride a bike, rollerblades, skate, whatever. Swings. In the park, we have these swings. You can just swing around, enjoy the breeze. 
soak in the sun. It's just very relaxing atmosphere. People are here with their family, with their partners, riding bikes, riding scooters, and just enjoying the Sunday um, time before the busy Monday tomorrow. Guys, we are at the Blue Bridge right here. Woo, we're on top of it. So this bridge connects um, Kentucky to Ohio. So Kentucky to Cincinnati as well. It's beautiful. Yeah, so you can walk there, get lunch over here, walk back, back and forth, back and forth. So now we are going to the restaurant called Taste of Belgium. So they're famous for waffles. What kind of waffles do you have? Um, so they have a traditional waffle, um, chocolate and cream, strawberries and cream, banana and Nutella, um, s'more, and seasonal. It's the Belgian burger. Okay. So uh, it's got cheddar, lettuce, a special sauce, and onion. And then fries. And I got the chicken waffles. You got a salad here. You got the Belgian um, waffles as well as the chicken. So if you ever come to Taste of Belgium, you have to get the chicken and waffles. The chicken is so good, so crispy. You bite down, you can hear the crisp in it. The chicken is so tender as well. You dip in this hot sauce that they provide. You can get it um, smothered on it or on the side. And the waffles is so crispy and also so soft on the inside. And they also serve that with syrup. So we got ourselves the s'more waffle. <laughs> let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Like it. Mm -hmm. so good. Very good. Here. The marsh the marshmallow tastes like it's from a campfire. Mm. So like the waffle is just so like crispy. Inside it's also very just soft. It just like melts in your mouth. Plus the sugar coating on top with the marshmallow. So good guys. Alright guys, so we just finished the taste of Belgium. We're very tired. We're just gonna relax, enjoy our Sunday off, and then you know head back on home. And yeah, this has been a great day in Cincinnati, visiting different places, the Finley Market, the Geta Fest, Botanical Gardens, and eventually back here in the city center. So now, yeah, we're just gonna relax, take a step back, and that's it for this episode. See you guys next time.